Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're looking at illustrative math for sixth grade. This is Unit 1, Lesson 2, Finding Area by Decomposing and Rearranging. Your objective states, I can find the area of a figure by decomposing and rearranging the parts. We're looking at Activity 2.3, Tangram Triangles. It says, recall that the area of the square you saw earlier is one square unit. So in a previous activity, we determined that this was one square unit. Uh, complete each statement and explain your reasoning. The area of the small triangle is blank square units. I know this because. So we've got the small blue, uh, medium red, and the large green. I'm going to come over to the website and use the GeoGebra applet that's there. Um, so I want to somehow decompose and rearrange the parts so that I can match up uh, things to this yellow square so that I can find some relationships. So I'm going to drag these small blue triangles over, rotating the blue triangles so that we can piece them together. And you can see that two blue triangles takes up the exact same amount of space as one yellow square. So if one yellow square is one unit, then a blue triangle must be just half of the unit because it takes two to occupy the same amount of space. So I know this because it takes, like I just said, two triangles to occupy, I'm just pretending to write, the same amount of space. Number two, the area of the medium triangle is blank square units. So we're going to look at this red triangle and see if we can rotate these triangles in a way that we can piece them together so they take up the same amount of space. So it's hard to rotate them exactly perfectly, but if I could, you'd see that it takes two of the blue triangles to take up the same amount of space as one red triangle. And we saw that relationship already. It takes two of the blue triangles to cover one yellow square. So the red triangle, even though it's shaped differently, must take up the same amount of space as one yellow square. So in that case, the area of the medium triangle would be one square units. I know this because it takes up the same amount of space as two triangles, which is the same amount of space as it takes to cover up one square. For number three, it says the area of the large triangle is blank square units. I know this because, so again, back to the applet. Let's reset everything so we can see it again. And I'm going to try to place one of these, I'll move that out of the way, triangles in the corner, see if that works. And then I'll place another one of these triangles in the opposite, oops, and everything zoomed away, corner. And when I do that, I see a nice, beautiful square shape. I can just go ahead and slide that in. We know that one yellow square is one square unit, and then two of the blue triangles together is another square unit. So the area of the large or green triangle must be two square units. Why? Because I can cover it exactly with the same amount of stuff that I know already takes up two square units. Again, our objective states, I can find the area of a figure by decomposing and rearranging the parts. Thanks for watching.